Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here. It is Friday and we're making some slam today. Oh yeah, Bubble, find a slam party like Smurf style. So excited for this one just because Smurfs are out there all over the place, you guys. I can't go to a toy store or anywhere without seeing those cute little Smurfs. The funny thing about these is when I was little, I was obsessed. I love them. I had so many little dolls and now they are back. So happy. Howdy you little bubble teams, let's jump on into it and make some Smurf slime. And if you want to do this at home, so, so simple. All you need is a little bit of glue, borax, water, and I found this adorable blue little mason jar. I'm going to put the slime in here, decorate it. Oh, it's going to look so cute. I hope it turns out. I think it will. Take a quick little look-see at the ingredients, just in case you want to do this at home. So, you need some Elmer School glue. You can either use the white or like the translucent. You can use glitter glue. I'm going with the plain white. Bubble, your glue literally looks like a gallon of milk. Fair Turn that basic glue into some slime. You are going to need the borax solution. I have a cup of warm water, not too hot, just like lukewarm, and a teaspoon, about a teaspoon and a half of borax. Some laundry detergent. You can use liquid starch. I just like the powdery one. A little better. Very important, you need a bowl and mixing spoon. How to give it that smurf look so I got this royal blue food coloring and two different shades of glitter kind of like a light turquoisey blue and a royal so cute and if you're planning on making a fluffy slime which I'm gonna try today you need a little bit of foamy shaving cream going with the Barbasol since my slime is already gonna be filled with some glitter and a little bit of shaving cream I thought why not add some of these to it they are like these little foam pellets, and I don't know why they remind me of sprinkles. They are so, so cute. Put them in there. Bubble, they look like dipping dots, like ice cream. So bad. Also super important, we need a little jar to decorate, to store the slime. I just lucked out when I went into the craft store. I was just looking for a white little mason jar. I found this blue. It was perfect. And I got a couple little Smurfies to stick on the top. Finally, last but not least, to decorate that Smurf jar, I have these little stick-on, almost like these little sticker gems. I love to use these. And some Whipple Crafting Cream. It looks like whipped cream, but it acts like a glue. Cannot wait for that. Are you little bubble teens? Oh, I'm so, so nervous right now. I'm hoping this works. Not too sure if it's gonna. But the first step, you get your empty bowl. And I'm gonna pour it almost halfway with the school glue. Let's do it. Oh, this literally looks like you're pouring milk into cereal. So rad. So rad. There. Well, there we go. Not too little, not too much. Just about halfway so we can stir it. Next step, we're going to put a little bit of the royal blue. Oh, and I don't know how dark this is going to be, so I'm just going to put a couple little droppies. Let's do it. Ooh. Bubble, this better be smart blue. It better be. Let's see. Oh yeah, see the blue. Looks like Papa Smurf. Ooh, looks like cake batter. So cool. I want to make this slime a little bit fluffy, but not too much. So I'm just gonna add a couple little spritzes of the shaving cream. Let's see. Looks like Cool Whip. This is looking so beautiful. It's like such a good mixture. It's super thick and creamy. So the next step, we gotta add a little bit of sparkle and try to put in some of the sprinkle beads. Oh, I want it super sparkly. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing. Who cares? It's gonna look good. And a light one too. Who cares? Love it. Whoa, that is a lot of glitter. Oh, this thing is gonna be glitter free. I don't think I've ever added so much glitter into a slime. Oh, look at that. It's looking like galaxy. Show sure nice. us. another little thing about this mixture if I had used like a clear glue you would see these sparkles so so much but since I'm using like a milky matte kind of color you don't see them as good but they're still there just not as sparkly so if you really want like a glitter slime I'd go with a clear glue 
Let's have a little foamy beads bubble. Little dipping dots beads. Ooh, so pretty. Looks like fruity pebbles. And another reason you may want to go with that clear glue is so you could see these pretty little beads through it. Right now, they're just going to look like little lumps, which is okay. Wanted some chunky slime, but you can't really see the colors. But it still looks cool. It almost looks like there's little Orbeez in there. Add a couple more. So it's coming along. Next up, you're gonna add the borax and water solution. That is the final step. I'm just gonna put these little sprinkies aside. I'm gonna decorate with them a little bit later. Everybody, here it is, the Smurf Slime. I mixed it up for about five minutes and voila. I've been squishing it and squishing it and I have to say I love it. It came out exactly how I wanted. The only thing is I wish I could see those little colorful beads a little bit better, but it is so silky soft. It's stretchy. <laughs> I could do this all day. And I love when you put shaving cream into the mix because it makes it so silky. It's almost like marshmallow fluff. So soft. <sighs> love it. Bubba, let me give it the poop test. Oh yeah, that's fluffy slime for shawls. And if you want to add a little bit more of these things, you can add them while the slime is already cooked. Ooh, that looks so cute. Make it a little more chunky. This really looks like little cereal pieces. Oh, so cute. But they disappear. You can't see them through, through that blue color. Now that all the mixing and making is done, our slime is complete. I'm going to stuff it in this little blue jar and smurferize. Let's decorate a little bit. a little too much so I'm just gonna pull a piece off of there perfect same color the jar is almost exactly the color of that slime which is good because we want a lot of blue Bubba, it's time to seal the jar and like Step one, I'm gonna get my little gem stickers. I decided to go with these diamondy ones. I thought it would look so cute and put some around the lid and the bottom. The lid of the jar is finished. Oh wow, it's looking like a piece of jewelry. So, so cute. I'm just gonna put a couple strands at the bottom. Bling it out a little bit, why not? Beautiful. Step one complete. We got those little diamonds going on there. So, so cute. It makes the bottle just a little bit more fancy. You could use it as like a room decoration. And even when you take the slime out, you could put little Shopkins in there or like some of your little lip balms. 
It's super cute, super easy. Next, we are going to get our whipple cream. I love this stuff. I love it because it looks like ice cream or it looks like whipped cream, and it also acts as a glue, so I'm gonna swirl it on there, stick our little Smurfs, and maybe sprinkle a few of these little, little sprinkles on there. Let's try it. What's going on? So I piped it on there. Wow, it really does look like cake icing. It looks yummy. Uh, I'm going to stick two of my little Smurfs on there. Just pop them on. Oh, so cute. Now that I'm looking at it, those little beads, they actually look like little mushrooms. Those little Smurf mushrooms popping out. So, so cute. It looks like a Smurf birthday cake or cupcake. I really, really adorable. And this takes about one hour to dry, and in about an hour, it's going to be kind of squishy, but super hard, and glue these little babies in place. Hey little sweetie pies, hope you enjoyed it. And as you can see, this was like the easiest, simplest little craft to do. So easy to make the slime, decorate the little jar. I think all together, maybe this whole thing cost 10 or $12. You can give it to a friend as like a birthday present or even better if you wanna get a little more creative. If you're having like a Smurfs themed birthday party, you can make a few of these, put them in the center of the tables as like centerpieces and maybe give them away. Just so, so cute. And like I said, when you're done with the slime, you could take it out, you could store little lip glosses, little Shopkins, hair ties, whatever. So cute. We are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show, and if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click the big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine, and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.